Subscribe now. What's up, guys? Danny with Swamp and Stomp, and thanks for tuning in to another episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out this video over here for our um, quarterly giveaway. We're going to be giving away a really cool Summit tree stand, the Summit Viper SD, um, really lightweight aluminum climber. So much like uh, natural predators, um, us hunters are always evolving and trying to find more efficient and effective ways of hunting. And that's exactly what it, um, I'm going to be showing you guys now. I'm actually um, kind of getting into the saddle hunting world. Um, as you see here, I have a JX3 on my back. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I, I got this a week ago and I'm kind of getting, it, getting used to it and kind of tweaking it to how I like. Um, the really big thing in saddle hunting is there's a lot of DIY involved. So whenever you get a system, no matter how great the system is, um, you're more than likely going to want to add your own stuff to it um, that, that kind of goes for your style of hunting. So coming from always hunting out of a um, climber or out of some sort of tree stand, getting into the saddle um, style of hunting, I went ahead and went with a sit drag last year. That didn't work out for me. It was really uncomfortable and I really didn't like it. I actually sat in it for about three hours and I ended up getting out of it and I went and grabbed my climber and sat there for the rest of the day. Um, so I figured if I try something that's more like a tree stand, or I mean it's more like a climber, I'd probably stick to it a little bit better. And um, I'll tell you what, man, I've had this JX3 for about a week or two and I love it. It's extremely comfortable. It's a lot like hunting out of a climber. Um, the, the platform itself is a little bit bigger than you would with a regular, like a, an actual saddle, like let's say like the Mantis. But um, man, the, the trade-off for comfort is outstanding. Granted, I haven't sat in a Mantis or anything like that, but after uh, I've sat in this, I don't think I really want to anyway. I'm um, not bashing anybody that uses the Mantis or any of those types of saddles. Um, there's something for everybody. So let me just go ahead and uh, give you a little rundown on my setup. Um, I'll show you what I got so far. So I've chosen to go with a um, DRT climbing method. If you watch um, the New York Saddle Hunters on uh, YouTube, those guys have this thing explained down to the T. I've watched pretty much uh, all their videos and that's what I'm going off of. Um, the latest one that I found was, actually, I didn't find it. Somebody on Facebook pointed me towards it on the um, Saddle Hunter Nation, I believe is the, the page. Um, he told me about the DRT with the foot loop, and that's what I'm gonna be demonstrating today, along with, um, I'll show you how I have my whole saddle set up. Um, climbing DRT, you, you wanna have a short bridge. Um, the JX3 is extremely well built, but the bridge that they give you with the um, JX3 is a little bit long, so I opted to go ahead and make my own. I want, I'm making, I made a, um, an adjustable bridge out of my predator rope that I had to cut down. So on this side, I put a bowline knot and I backed it with a overhand knot. And then on this side, I have a um, Prusik knot and I back the end of the rope with a um, stopper knot. Okay, so to adjust this, you grab your Prusik and uh, Go ahead and shorten it up. And once you get it to height, um, to hunting position, you have your platform out. You can go ahead and stand on your platform and loosen up your bridge if you want to make it longer for you know a more comfortable sit or whatever the case may be. All right, so I got my Blake's hitch tied in and I got my tending knot already in here and uh, my foot loop. What I'm using for the foot loop is my tether. So once I get up to hunting height, I remove it from here and I put it on the tree as my tether. Um, I also have a lineman's belt over here, but you don't have to use this for the style of climbing. Once you're um, transitioning from your foot loop to your tether, if you're standing on a platform, um, you might want to put your lineman's belt up. But uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and start climbing here. So my climbing loop 
is um, adjustable. I got this idea also from the New York the Saddle Hunter on YouTube. As you're going up, you're bringing up, in my case, my rope mill one. I leave enough space for my hands to grab onto this rope, and then just step. You could also use a uh, an ascender for your hands and bring that up as you're moving up. All right. Well, that's about 14 feet. Top of that trailer, about 14 feet, so I don't want that. Once you're done, I like to remove my foot loop. This is me pretty much already at hunting hike. I set up my bag and my stuff on here and then I'm ready to hunt. I have a little adjustable offset here, a little standoff from the tree so I can get off the tree if I want to. And then I have uh, adjustments for my backpack backpack back straps I can take these off and I can loosen up a backrest pretty much get as comfortable as I want to be all right so once you're done with your hunt go ahead and grab your tether You don't need the uh, 
foot loop on your way down. So to head down, all you gotta do is carefully rappel down. That's it. So it takes a little bit of practice um, to repel. That's probably the smoothest I've done yet. Probably repel down four times. And uh, at first it was a little tricky. Um, I had the tendency of dropping too fast. And then what, I'm, what I've been doing now is I'll go ahead and grab the knot. And then my, my thumb kind of follows this line here. And rather than pulling down, I'll go ahead and just kind of twist it back. And I've noticed that I've had better control in uh, my speed coming down and, and stopping if I need to. So that seems to work out really nice. Um, so that's really nice about this type of climb. You know, if you're gonna be um, going really high, it might take you a little bit longer if you already have a preset of steps up. But once you're all set up and it's time to go, if you have a storm rolling in or the mosquitoes are tearing you up right at the end of the day um, or right at night, then you want to get out of there as quick as you can, as quiet as you can. There's nothing quieter than uh, rappelling down. Just grab your rope, rappel down, and uh, unhug it, undo your knots. Go ahead and pick yourself up and get out of there. Now, if you're going to be coming back the next day, personally, I will not leave this rope in the woods just because it's so expensive. Um, but if you're hunting on a piece of private property or you're somewhere that nobody's gonna be going, you could potentially leave your, your setup in the tree. Um, but it, it won't, doesn't take long to just untie it and take it with you. I'll do it real quick. This is significantly quieter than taking steps down or anything like that. I like to clip my Prusik knot in here. I had one situation when I was bringing my rope around, the Prusik stayed on the limb. I just stayed there the whole time. That's it. So, um, this is going to be the first of a couple series of us switching from tree stands, climbers, to um, saddle type hunting systems. Uh, Mark's going to be doing one as well. He has a DIY that he built. Uh, he may go ahead and start making some videos on that one once he completes it. Um, but I believe he's also going to be getting a, a JX3. So stay tuned for those videos and thanks for checking us out. Please make sure you subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. If you have any questions about this setup, um, drop a comment down below and um, check out some of these other videos.